Hey, welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel. And um, another frequency range that um, some might find unusual for me to be one of my favorites. And it's maybe not for the reasons you might think. The good old CB frequency range, or what is often referred to as 11 meters. So tonight I was actually tuning there because I was thinking of doing a video and it's funny because there's a few CB ears uh, here are a bunch of English speaking guys on uh, channel 38 lower sideband and there's actually some French language guys on uh, 27165 which is channel 16 I believe so the uh, shortwave range and it's a question a lot of people actually ask does a shortwave receiver get the CB band? And of course, for that to happen, your receiver needs to be what we call a general coverage receiver. General coverage means that there's no gap in the uh, frequency range and that your receiver goes all the way up to 30 megahertz where shortwave ends. The CB band is in the 27 megahertz range. And so if you have a general coverage receiver, uh, an example of receivers that do have that is uh, Texan PL 600, 660, 680, 880, uh, XH Data D808, RadiWow R108, um, Dijon D 1103. Uh, these are all receivers that have um, the frequency range up to 30 megahertz and they are what we call general coverage. So why am I so interested in the CB band? I mean, there's less activity than there used to be. I mean, anybody that listened to those frequencies in the 70s or 80s, remember the craze of CB radio. It almost seemed like you, we all knew somebody that had a CB in his car or in his home. Well, one of the interesting things about the CB band is that you never know what you can hear. And there are all sorts of things happening on the CB band that can be very surprising sometimes. But I use it mostly for propagation purposes. One of the things that is interesting about the CB band is that when skip happens, when solar activity is high enough and that propagation works all the way up to 30 megahertz, well, the CB band is one of the first bands you'll notice activity with stations skipping from far away, thousands of miles away. The sporadic e-skip phenomena that I talk from time to time, which happens in, at random and you know can happen at any moment, well, you can check it out there. We often call the uh, channel six the Super Bowl channel. You know, twenty-seven oh two five is that place you want to stay put with a receiver if you want to know if eleven meters ever skips, and it's a great indication at the same time that maybe ten meters might be open, and even sometimes six meters, uh, fifty megahertz. And of course, you can widen that range because the CB, 40 channel CB band is 26965 all the way to 27405. But you know what? There's a lot of out of band CB ears that just chit chat along, especially when it skips there. So I would uh, actually uh, say tune around from anywhere from, you know, 26,000 kilohertz all the way up to 28,000 kilohertz. That two megahertz chunk is uh, full of signals when propagation actually does work. So check it out because uh, it can be very surprising what you'll hear uh, anywhere from 26,000 to 28,000 kilohertz. I would say that I tune this range several times a week, mostly in search of you know any special propagation that might open the 20, uh, the 28 megahertz 10 meter band or you know just looking around uh, sometimes just out of curiosity looking at any activity like there is right now on the CB band here um, you know it's still it's quiet compared to what it was to in the past but there are there's some activity from time to time uh, and it's worth checking it out so it's one of my favorites to tune around from time to time and like I said mostly for propagation purposes if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.